Hi everyone, Adam here. This is going to be my last video on data management, I think, and then we'll get into calculations. But this is the most important video that you're going to watch. The reason is because we're talking about understanding your data set. And what I mean by that is we have calculated a readiness score here based on our data. And we added stress plus sleep quality plus energy. That's fine. SRPE, or session RPE, we multiplied RPE by duration, and that's fine. What we need to consider is how the rest of our data is going to affect these numbers that we've calculated, and even each of these numbers in isolation, how they're going to affect aggregates of this information when visualized as group averages or code name averages or whatnot. So, Let's look at this person here. They attended class. They didn't exercise. Their SRP is zero. That's fine. But what happens when someone does not attend a class? I'm going to scroll down a little bit. This person did not attend class. Their readiness score and SRP are also zero. So, I'm going to go to my data visualization page. We have a readiness score where we're taking the average of readiness score, and we have an average of SRPE. Now, if we include this person in those scores, we're going to have zeros going into our averages, which is going to throw the averages off. So we need to, number one, be aware of this, and number two, correct for it. And there are lots of little instances um, with the data that you'll be collecting where stuff like this will happen. And you just need to be aware of it, which is knowing how the data is being collected and how it's affecting the numbers that you're looking at. So now we're going to go into correcting for that. There are a couple different ways to do it. The first way is to correct it in the sheet that you're visualizing it in. And if we're going to do that, we can't just take an average because that'll include the zeros. We need to do average ifs. I'm going to go into these formulae uh, in the next video um, on a little bit deeper of a level. But average ifs, that's telling Excel, I want the average of this average range of readiness score if and only if. Now it's asking me for a criteria range. There are two ways that I can get this. The first is the easiest, and I'm just going to type in table Adam, saying I, I want to get the criteria range that is somewhere in my table, and that is attendance. And that has to be equal to 1. So now what I just said is that to Excel is I want the average of the readiness score only if the attendance is equal to 1. And when I click enter, the readiness score or the average readiness score for the class for the entire year changes. But there's also the potential for someone to attend a class and not fill out their information. I don't know whether or not this is going to affect the readiness score, but I should be safe and maybe consider it. So now it's asking me for another criteria range. After I type that comma, I'm going to do this. This time I'm going to do it the other way to select the information and go into the table itself. There's a column called attended but did not complete data. I'm going to select the first cell, or I'm going to select the first cell and hold down shift and select the last one. And I'll know that I have everything selected by it saying table atom and the header. So now I want to take the average readiness score if the person was here or attendance was one and attended but did not the, did not complete data is not equal to one. And I need to put parentheses around the not equal to. one so what just happened if 
I go back or undo that, we had a readiness score of 18.7, and now it's 18.8. Okay, so this is different from the original. I'm going to do the same thing with SRP, but an easy way, instead of recreating the formula, what I can do is I can copy what I just did here, right-click, and paste the formula, and then tell Excel, instead of averaging the readiness score with these criteria, I want to take the average of the SRPE using those criteria. And notice, again, this is different from the original. Great, so we just made corrections in the sheet. This is not a great solution in my opinion because every visualization that you have working off of this initial data set, you're going to have to do this for. The better way to do it is to simply correct the misinformation in the data entry sheet so that all of your visualizations and all of your formulae will already have this or have these factors taken into consideration. And the way that we do that is by manipulating these formulae a little bit. And I'm gonna go into these formula in, in later details, but for now I'm just gonna get the job done to show you. So I'm gonna say if, and so I'm saying if attendance, equals one comma and attended but did not complete data is not equal to one, then I want stress plus sleep quality plus energy. That's the value if true. But if that's not true, I want it to be blank instead. So now I'm going to go back to the person that did not complete or, the, or the, that was not in class. And now instead of a zero here, he has a blank. And let's quickly go back to our data viz page. And now we notice all three of these things line up. The reason is because this was originally taking the average of readiness score. And so is this. And now we corrected for it in the data sheet. This one still works because we apply the criteria anyways, um, regardless of what it says in the data sheet, pretty much. So the way, the way that we do this for SRP is exactly the same way. And again, just to save time, or the, probably the most efficient way to do this, is I'm just gonna copy the formula here by clicking Control C or Command C and pasting it in there. But I know that the end has to change. So if the attendance is one and the attendance but did not complete data is not equal to one, then I want latest RP times latest duration. And if that's, and if not, so if that's not true, then I want it to be blank, which is covering the people that weren't here or did not complete uh, their data set when they were here. And if I click enter, and I scroll down, so these people, let me first say up top, they are here. This person is here. They did not exercise. Their SRP is zero. We could correct for that if we wanted to, but if they're here then and they didn't exercise, that's important to go into our SRP average. But someone that is not here now, this person, it's now blank and will not go into our SRP average. So when I come back here to our data entry, all three of these things look the same, and that's because we corrected for um, the data in different ways. And again, kind of going back to this, knowing your data set is, is imperative to relaying accurate information because we have different scores here than we would have had if we didn't accommodate for those factors.
And in the next video, I'm going to go over a few calculations and also I'm going to introduce you to the power of ones, which is something that is incredibly powerful when you have a lot of data and you're making multiple visualizations.